We'd like to thank you for joining us. This is Mike Mars, and in the drive this week, we've got the 2016 Kia Sorento SLX all-wheel drive. Now, the all-new Sorento comes with a new front-end treatment that includes a smaller grille opening, as well as a new headlight treatment, daytime running lights, and fog lights. Under the hood of the 2016 Kia Sorento, we're going to find that there's a couple of different engine choices. There is a 2.4 liter inline four, a 3.3 liter V6, and a 2.0 liter turbocharged inline four, which is what we happen to be running with. Now this engine does produce 240 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, but just as importantly, it pumps out 260 pound feet of torque down at 1450. So this thing's got a real low power band that comes in. And with the front wheel drive model, it's rated for 27 miles per gallon out on the highway, 25 on the city. Coming into the interior of our 2016 Kia Sorento, we're gonna find a lot of nice new touches. We're like this piano black trim, really nice shiny chrome, easy to reach controls up here for the driver on the door. And on the left side of the dash down, kind of out of the way, we're gonna find our other controls for a lot of our safety features, our interactive cruise control, uh, some corner alarms here to let us know on all four corners when we're getting too close. The power lift gate is here. And then coming on across, we're gonna see our gauge pod. Got a nice large sweeping tack over here on the left side of it. And the center biggest <laughs> gauge is gonna be the speedometer. Now that's also where we're gonna see a lot of our trip information. Now this information is going to be somewhat uh, driver specific, depending on what you're looking for. And this is all controlled from the thumb controls right here on the steering wheel. This is also in the same area that we're going to find our cruise as well as our interactive cruise controls. Over on the left side is where we're going to find our voice activated, our phone, our audio system. All of that's going to be right in here, easy to access. Coming on over to the center stack, we're going to find a large monitor that's very much a touchscreen monitor to where we can change our, our audio systems, where we can go to our media, got our map and our nav system. All of this is right here, very easy to use, and it's very responsive. Uh, some of the systems are a little slow responding whenever you go to hit something, but this is pretty much here. Now, it's interesting to note also that this is a, an Infinity audio system, and we're also going to see that we've got a kind of a rough, flat material here that's on the dash that kind of contrasts very much with the slick piano black surroundings of the gauges. But coming on down, we're going to see that we've got our dual manual controls here for our climate control. Then we've got our heated and cooled seats, our heated steering wheel. And then on down below that, again, a very large uh, black, piano black type finish here on a storage compartment. Now this is going to reveal where we've got two 12 volt power supplies, we've got a USB as well as an auxiliary. So it's a great place to drop some change or even a, a cell phone whenever you're charging it on the USB port or on the power supply. You can then close it up and it's out of sight, out of mind. Particularly if you're using it for uh, running one of the apps on the system. Coming on back we're going to find the six speed automatic shifter here. It does have a manual type mode on it. The shifter comes back and you pull it over to the left so that you can manually shift it. Got the leather wrapped boot on it with the large stitching. Our electronic power uh, parking brake, as well as we can activate our rear view camera just about at will once the engine's running and uh, we're moving basically in, in reverse that is. We've also got a couple of cup holders here, some nice drink holders here. And then coming on back, we're gonna find we've got some additional storage down here and a large padded top to some deep storage. Again, more USB and 12 volt power supplies. On around the dash, we're gonna see that we've got a push button to drop down the large glove box. And then the seats, again, the perforated design here because of the heating and cooling, nice large stitching on the bolstering. The side bolstering on the back of the seat is kind of uh, kind of thick, kind of got a slide into it, but when you do, it feels very comfortable when it kind of wraps around and then we've got the large headrest and the monstrous panoramic sunroof.
accessing the rear passenger area of our Kia Sorento, we're going to see more of the gloss piano black trim, uh, large white stitching on the door, as well as our drink holders and Infinity audio system. We're also going to see that we've got a couple of sunscreens here that should make it really nice for the Texas summers. Coming on in, we're going to see we've got some soft storage behind the seats, and we're going to see that the back of our front console gives us some USB access, 115 volt, and some 12 volt power options for the rear passengers. Looking around the seats, we're going to see that it is a 60-40 configuration, and we've got it arranged so that we can point out the fact that these seats do recline. So we've got our 60 side of it reclined back beyond the 40, and you can see there's a noticeable difference here. We also got a fold down armrest. It's got some padding on it as well as room for a couple of drink holders. Now these seats will also fold flat. It's very simple. There's a lever on the side of the base. Simply pull that, step back out of the way, and this thing will literally fall flat on its face. Now this is going to provide a much larger flat storage area. Both seats will fold down. Going into the rear of our 2016 Kia Sorento through the uh, power lift gate, we're going to find a nice large flat open storage area. We've got some uh, dry storage here. We've got a 12 volt power supply here. We've got some cargo tie downs on both sides as well as some speakers. Now we also happen to have the cargo protection mat kind of protects the carpet, but pulling it out of the way and we're going to see that we've got some storage areas underneath here. Now this is the first one, obviously some dry storage to go along with the jacks. But behind that is we're gonna find some compartmentalized storage that could be very useful whenever you're hauling groceries or large items that are going to uh, maybe be rattling around or moving around. Simply pull it back and store it. Or you could put some smaller items in there, put it down. Now it's uh, out of sight, out of mind and then put the protection mat back inside of it. We've also got 60-40 seats on the rear seating that fold down. Now there is an optional third row seat available in the Sorento. And it's one of those that if you get that, you're gonna be putting the kids and uh, or some very small adults into the back seat because there's really not much room back here to add a third seat as you can see. Whereas with the five passenger model, very nice storage area, easy to access, easy to use. We'd like to thank you for joining us in the drive as we've been putting some miles on the 2016 Kia Sorento SXL all-wheel drive. This is the mid-size offering from Kia that comes standard with five passenger seating such as we have here, or there's an available third row seating if you have some mini me's to tuck in the back. Under the hood, we're gonna find three engine choices and we happen to be going with the turbocharged four-cylinder. It's backed by a six-speed automatic. We've got some nice sporty 19 inch aluminum wheels, a few sporty body touches, as well as a new front end treatment. We've got a lot of new high tech on the interior, as well as an upgrade in the materials that are used throughout. If you get a chance to drive one of these nice vehicles, we highly recommend it. We'd like to thank you again for joining us in the drive. This is Mike Mars reminding you, please drive safe.